Hi everyone, welcome back, or just welcome if you're new to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of a different video and I'm going to take you to my bookshelves so we can have a look through all of my unread books. So while I'm still home from university, I'm actually going back in two days, I thought I might as well make the most of being here and having my bookshelves and having all of my books with me to show you all of the books that I have yet to read. I wouldn't say I have a massive pile of books that I haven't read yet because I'm quite good at getting rid of my books to be honest. Um, every now and again, probably every other time I come home, I go through my books and try and be strict with myself and donate some to charity. So whether they're books that I thought I was going to want to read at some point, but if I'm honest with myself, I'm probably never going to get around to reading, or just books that I read when I was younger and I don't necessarily want to keep hold of anymore, I'm quite good at getting rid of those because what I really want to do is end up with a collection of books that I dearly, dearly love and want to keep for the rest of my life. So that being said, I have gone through my books quite recently and donated some and I also thought this was a really great time to do this video because I've also acquired a lot of brilliant books recently. And so all the books that I'll be showing you in this video I actively want to get to and should hopefully be getting to the majority of them this year in 2018. So without further ado, why don't we go to my bookshelves? So this is an overview of my bookshelves and actually what I see while I'm in bed. My bookshelves are organised by genre at the moment, which is my favourite way to organise my bookshelves. I just think it makes so much sense for finding books and just generally having them grouped in this way. So at the moment I have on the left hand side my literary fiction, my general fiction, historical fiction and some non-fiction and poetry at the bottom. And then on the right hand side I have my fantasy and sci-fi, my children's fiction and my YA fiction. And then in the middle I have the majority of my classics. So now what I'm going to do is take you in closer to each of the individual sections and talk you through all of the books I haven't read yet in each of those genres. In my literary fiction section I have yet to read A Girl is a Half-Formed Thing by Ema McBride How to Be Both by Ali Smith The Year of the Runaways by Sanjeev Sahota The Inheritance of Loss by Kieran Desai My Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante and The Mountains Echoed by Khaled Yossini, On Chesil Beach by Ian McEwan, and Atonement by Ian McEwan, Paradise by Toni Morrison, Do Not Say We Have Nothing by Madeline Tien, Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng, and finally The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. In general fiction, I have to read The Passion by Jeanette Winterson, Sophie's World by Justine Garder Empire Falls by Richard Rousseau Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell Poor Things by Alasdair Gray A Year of Marvellous Ways by Sarah Winman Here I Am by Jonathan Safran Foa The Electric Michelangelo by Sarah Hall The Ghost Show by Irvin Hunt the Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie There Once Lived a Woman Who Tried to Kill Her Neighbour's Baby by Ludmilla Petrushevskaya And finally, I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith In historical fiction, I have yet to read All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doer The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon the Narrow Road to the Deep North by Richard Flanagan Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel and its sequel Bring Up the Bodies by Hilary Mantel and finally Golden Hill by Francis Buford In non-fiction I have yet to read Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying by Marie Kondo The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls and My Own Story by Emmeline Pankhurst. Poetry collections I have yet to read include Lyrical Ballads by William Wordsworth and Samuel Taylor Coleridge Spacecraft by John McCullough Wild Embers by Nikita Gill Stranger Baby by Emily Berry and finally Happiness by Jack Underwood. From my classics I have yet to read Plato's Symposium Great Expectations by Charles Dickens Lady Chatterley's Lover by D.H. Lawrence 
A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess, Howard's End by E.M. Forster, and lastly, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. Out of my fantasy and sci-fi books, I have yet to read Finnegan of the Rock by Melina Marchetta, and its sequels, Froy of the Exiles and Quintana of Sharon. Shadowmancer by G.P. Taylor and Wormwood by G.P. Taylor. Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor and finally Dune by Frank Herbert. I have read all but two of my books in my children's section and they are The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making by Catherine M. Volante and also The 101 Dalmatians by Dodie Smith. Finally, in my YA section, I have left to read Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman, and The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Arter. So those are all the books that are on my bookshelves that I haven't got round to reading yet, that hopefully I will be reading over the next coming year or so. If you've read any of the books that I mentioned and enjoyed them, please let me know down below in the comments and hopefully that'll spur me on to read them soon. <laughs> also, please let me know if there are any books that are on your bookshelves that you haven't got round to reading yet that you're really excited to read. I'm always looking for new recommendations. So, as always, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed having a little look at my bookshelves and hopefully I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.